thank you so much for joining us this evening on Exploring Dream Vacations by Travel Pros. My name is Taya Clifton, and I am joined by my fellow travel consultant, Glenda Stevens. And we also have the president of Travel Pros, Ms. Jennifer Garris. Tonight, our special guest is Tyler Wallinger, who's the business develop executive for Rail Bookers. And he's going to take us all aboard for the vacations on the different kind of train travels that we can do. There's different travel types, destinations, deals. There truly are endless. You can choose from a full vacation on your sleeper train. You can do a partial train tour as part of another package, i.e. a cruise. Um, but from the most scenic cruises to the most luxury travel, he's going to take us on board and just let us see what it's all about. So, Tyler, without further ado, I am going to pass it on over to you. Thank you so much, Ty, and welcome aboard, everyone. Thank you so much again for taking time out of your busy schedules to not only hear what I have to say and my passion and love of train travel, but hopefully you'll learn something new today uh, with what we can offer here at Rail Bookers and Amtrak Vacations. Again, my name is Tyler Wallinger. I am one of the business development executives here from Amtrak Vacations and Rail Bookers. Rail Bookers is the company that I work for, um, but I did want to let you know, of course, folks, uh, we have so many great rail vacation destinations, not only here in the United States to our national park. Uh, but we also, of course, have some international destinations that we do travel to also uh, anywhere on the around the globe. As long as the train goes there, so do we. Uh, but before we begin, I want to talk about very briefly our two distinct Yankee Leisure Group brands. Yankee Leisure Group is the company that owns both Rail Bookers and Amtrak Vacations. Amtrak Vacations is the official tour operator for Amtrak. Amtrak moves over 3 million passengers on its rail system each year. Uh, so we not only take care of those onboard accommodations, such as those private sleeping accommodations on board, but also, of course, the hotels, sightseeing tours, transfers, rental cars, and so much more. And believe it or not, Right now, what we're seeing for this year alone is people wanting to travel to the national parks, be in those wide open spaces, not have to be congested in those major cities. People want to explore the wildlife, see that this beautiful country has to offer, right? We always think of America the beautiful. Why not be available to see America the beautiful by rail? And, uh, you know, with us, we actually do want to let you know, too, we do, of course, uh, book lodges in those national parks. We have specific inventory, a lot of space so that if you are, you know, if you or your clients want to be able to stay in these amazing hotels like the El Tavar, the Lake Yellowstone Hotel, we got you covered. But then, of course, to our right is Rail Bookers. That's one of my favorite brands to talk about. Rail Bookers is our international brand where we travel to destinations such as Canada, Europe, Asia, Africa, Australia, and beyond. But we also take care of Alaska by rail. Believe it or not, people are super excited they can travel to Alaska. Maybe instead of doing a cruise experience, maybe thinking of a land tour by train, going over to Denali, Fairbanks, Anchorage, Seward, and even seeing the you know beautiful northern lights. We could talk about that also too. And all of our rail vacation packages with rail bookers and Amtrak vacations can be booked as early as today and as far out as 2023. So again, two years in advance. That's a huge thing that sets us apart versus other suppliers out there in the country, actually even global wide to be that in fact. And that's just not just our rail vacation packages. That includes also our rail tickets. And another thing too, as rail bookers and Amtrak vacations, we're a full FIT supplier. So we can customize and tailor make our packages based upon what your client clients are looking for. So that could be including, you know, adding on any destination to their package if they want to add on extra nights stay. So if they want to stay more nights in the national parks or more nights uh, stay in the Swiss Alps, we got you covered. We can even make a round trip from their hometown. Now, this is specifically more for Amtrak vacations related, but Amtrak has over 500 plus stations right here in the U.S. Many people don't think about, oh, I can just fly to the major train station and pick it up there. No, you can actually start from your hometown. Believe it or not, out of seven out of 10 times, we see more people starting from their hometown than having to fly and having to deal with all that additional transportation uh, involvement when they can just take the train from their hometown. We can even upgrade their rail tickets from coach to business class on those shorter distance trains to even upgrading to uh, private sleeping accommodations on those longer distance trains. We can even add on additional sightseeing tours or even upgrading those tours to fully private tours. I can't tell you how much we're seeing more people booking private tours with us than ever before, just due to the fact that they don't want to be with a, you know, with a regular size group and do the same group tour as everyone else. They want something more intimate. They want something that more that is like an additional amount of luxury that people are willing to spend. And I think being at home, like we've all talked about, people are tired of being at home and looking at four corner walls. We're tired and have to about 
oh my gosh, I need to get more toilet paper. I don't, you know, they don't want to worry about that. They want to be able to relax, enjoy the scenery and leave the driving up to the engineers. That's what they want, right? So where can your clients travel to by train? Well, believe it or not, with Amtrak vacations, the possibilities are endless. First and foremost, if your clients are looking to travel on a short getaway trip, either be for this year or even for next year goes, we'd be more than happy to help take care of that. Let's say your clients want to travel down to Washington, D.C. and say hi to the president. You know, we can definitely <laughs> help take care of that for them. Or maybe they're looking for a little more of a longer distance trip. Maybe they want to go down from uh, New York City down to New Orleans and go to visit the bayou and maybe listen to some jazz music and get some great you know, uh, cuisine. Or maybe they're looking for a transcontinental trip going across the uh, beautiful country of ours, going through the Grand Canyon or going through the Colorado Rockies. We can help take care of that with any of our rail vacations. Again, the possibilities are endless. Another thing I want to talk about right now is going to be our national parks. So this is a big, big topic right now this year. We're seeing that being advertised on Travel Weekly, Travel Leisure, magazines, uh, you know, all these popular websites are you know, I mean, featuring national parks and they're preparing, preparing you guys. Hey, this is going to be a busy year. And I apologize. This is going to be a busy year. People are wanting to know what do I need to do when I want to go visit the national parks? Do I need a reservation? Do I need what? What do I need to do? We're here to help. I want to reiterate that. We're here to help giving you all that information so you can pass that information along to your clients. But our first package I want to talk about today is Glacier National Park. This is our Glacier National Park Express. Starts in Chicago and ends in Seattle. Traveling on the full length route of the Empire Builder. This is our number one package, our number one seller here at Amtrak Vacations. Why? Because it not only travels on the full length route of the Empire Builder, but goes to the crown jewel of the National Park Service, which is Glacier. Uh, so you'll start your trip with us for a two-night stay in the beautiful, windy city of Chicago. We have you staying in one of our finest hotels like the Drake Hotel, the Magnificent Mile, uh, the Sofitel. We have a great amount of properties to choose from. We also, of course, offer some great uh, uh, sightseeing tour experiences, like maybe doing a nice uh, lake cruise. We also, of course, offer a city pass where you can be able to check out the art museums. Whatever that may be, we, of course, can help enhance their experience and stay while visiting the uh, beautiful city of Chicago. But after their time exploring uh, this great city, they'll then travel over to Chicago's Union Station. This is one of the most remarkable train stations in the world. Believe it or not, a lot of times when people internationally travel to the U.S., they are so inspired by our own train stations here in the U.S. that they're like, oh, my gosh, I wish, you know, something back home is very similar. Um, and believe it or not, also, too, some of the uh, European architects, when they design their own train stations in Europe, they actually stole our ideas, our own architectural plans, because they loved it so much. We're very proud to be Americans, right? Uh, so they'll travel on board the Empire Builder. This is the, um, the train that will take your clients from Chicago going over to Glacier National Park. A little fun fact for any rail enthusiast on today. Um, the original name of this train came from the CEO and founder of the Great Northern Railroad. This was the line that was developed between the Windy City going over to the Pacific Northwest. He was able to develop a rail line where other people thought it was impossible. He was the dreamer. They thought, no, you're, you're not able to do that because you got two huge obstacles. You got the Rocky Mountains and you got the Cascades, two of the most treacherous mountain regions in the US. He was able to do it. He was able to find a way going through Mariah's Pass and going through the Cascades. And that's why they nicknamed him the Empire Builder. So your clients are gonna go on the first night traveling through Minnesota, going through North Dakota, and then arrive into the Big Sky Country area before they arrive at Glacier National Park. They'll arrive at East Glacier Station here. This is one of the few remaining log stations right here in the US. And inside they have a little dedicated museum dedicated to the um, Great Northern Railroad. And then right outside is the Glacier Park Lodge. Now I wanna let you know folks, that with uh, the um, with Amtrak Vacations, we actually do provide transportation from the train station, taking them over direct to the lodge. But if your clients are up to it, which I did myself, I actually like walking and you know <laughs> getting some workout on my uh, on my legs. I know I I, I should work out more and uh, just actually walk through this beautiful garden region, actually going through the wildflowers, hearing the bees buzz, hearing the you know seeing the beautiful butterflies, just going up to the Big Trees Lodge. 
This is a National Historic Landmark, folks. This is the Glacier Park Lodge. It was originally built back in 1913. It ended construction in 1914. And it has uh, many great amenities that offered during its day to still uh, this traditional experience. It's bean soup. With the, oh, sorry. It looks like people might have been. Welcome to have some. Let me mute that person, sorry. <laughs> and uh, w when they stay at the Glacier Park like Lodge. Soup. <laughs> they'll stay at the Glacier Park Lodge with us for three nights. And while they're staying there, there is not only the Great Northern Dining Hall, which offers, of course, uh, some amazing cuisine. Uh, they also, of course, have a large heated outdoor pool so they can enjoy the views of the Rockies and even an 18 golf course on site. This is the oldest oldest golf course um, in the entire state of Montana. But many people are not just there to enjoy the lodge itself, they're there to explore Glacier National Park. And one of our most popular sightseeing tours that we actually include in our package is our Going to the Sun Road Historic Regimer Bus Tour. These buses were built back by the White Motor Company in the early 1930s. And these motor coaches actually have been recently um, uh, reconfigured just because of the fact that uh, they would have to jam the gears to go up those uh, steep elevations of the going to the sun road. So Ford actually remodeled the entire uh, carriages here, still keeping that historic form, but making it more transmission uh, with a, I guess, a transmissionable engine so that way they don't have to <laughs> jam the gears. You don't want to feel like you're being sucked there. But uh, this great sightseeing tour is a full loop that will pick you, your clients up at the Glacier Park Lodge and take them back over to the lodge as well. They'll start off their journey going through Mariah's Pass, learning about the railroad history and how the line was able to be developed. Then they'll go through the west part entrance of Glacier National Park. That's where they'll, of course, be greeted and be able to see Lake McDonald. They're going to see um, the uh, you know all the uh, the natural scenery above there, and they'll have an optional lunch experience at the Lake, Lake McDonald Lodge. Now, this is an optional lunch. It is, of course, additional cost to the client, but I do recommend that. So that way they can enjoy uh, Rainbow Pebble Beach and also enjoy some of the wildlife while they're enjoying a nice meal. And then that's when they're going to go up the switchback part of the road and be able to see the Weeping Wall, go up through Logan's Pass via the Continental Divide as they head back down the mountain uh, to St. Mary's Lake. The next sightseeing tour that we do include in our packages is our two Medicine Valley boat cruise. Uh, this is a nice uh, relaxing boat cruise that was uh, developed by the Swanson Boat Company in the early 1930s. This is the oldest cruise still to date. It's built back in 1935. Uh, the Cinepot, which was nicknamed um, by the one of the um, princesses of the Blackfoot Indian Nation tribe. So this 45 minute cruise takes you around uh, upper two Medicine Valley Lake. You'll learn about the geological features that make Glacier National Park so remarkable, uh, but you also get to even learn about the history of the Black, Blackfoot Indian Nation tribe. Another thing I should also mention to add on is if your clients do like to um, do some hiking at all, we actually do offer an opportunity where they could do an optional hike uh, in the afternoon with a uh, ranger uh, led at the hike. So this is just something that we always like to recommend to passengers. It's free and it's included. After the time exploring Glacier National Park, they'll then head on board the Amtrak's Empire Bell or herding further west to Seattle. Now on board the train, this is when they're gonna be going through Glacier National Park during the day. So Amtrak times it perfectly that you'll be able to see the scenery during the day. Another little tip I would recommend because of the uh, the park is only open for a short season from uh, end of May to about mid-September. The best time to honestly go is uh, is usually July and August. It's a little more busier, but it's the best time to go because that's the most sunlight up here in the Pacific Northwest region. Just a little self-tip. Then, of course, your clients will arrive into Seattle, Washington, where they will stay there with us for two nights to explore the uh, this beautiful Emerald City. While they're there, we do, of course, provide some great hotel options to choose from, such as the Fairmont Olympic Hotel. This is a five-star property. I stayed there myself, right centrally located here in, uh, in Seattle. And we also, of course, provide some sightseeing where they can enjoy the Space Needle, the Chuli Garden Glass exhibit, the aquarium, or even do a nice hour Argozi cruise. This is also a great way we can also include a day trip over to, um, to Vancouver Island so they can check out the Fairmont Empress, have high tea there, or maybe go to Bouchard Gardens. We can help, of course, customize that in their package. But if you're going to be able to see two national parks, why not visit either Olympic National Park for the day or Mount Rainier? 
check off two products off your list. We can help take care of that uh, within your package. This is an additional add-on that we can add towards the trip uh, to enhance your client's overall experience when visiting the Pacific Northwest region. So again, this is our Glacier National Park Express package. It is 10 days, starting at $3,299. includes all that you see here and more with this great rail vacation itinerary. Now, we're going to move down to the southwest region here of uh, the U.S. We're going to talk about our essential Grand Canyon to Yosemite. Starts in Williams, Arizona, around Route 66, and then ends in San Francisco. But again, this is a package that offers not one, but two great national parks. So you'll arrive into the uh, Grand Canyon Railway Hotel in Williams. This is the major hotel in the small, small little town. If you maybe visit Williams, it's one of the major hotels there. Um, and it's a great property stay at indoor pool nice bar and then also of course the fred harvey restaurant is located on site but this is the gateway uh, entrance point to the south rim of the grand canyon so your clients will then of course wake up the next morning have breakfast uh, at the uh, fred harvey restaurant and then they'll board the grand canyon railway train Folks, the Grand Canyon Railway has been around for over 120 years. I know that sounds like, oh my gosh, it's been a long time, <laughs> but it's been around for over 120 years. Its birthday is September 17th, 1901, so it's going to be over 120 years this year. And a little fun tip I always like to mention to my travel agent friends. If your clients travel on the first Saturday, starting in March and ending in October, they get to be able to see the classic steam train, number 4960, the steam train locomotive built by the Baldwin Locomotive Company. Uh, that is something they only offer, again, once every month. It's the first Saturday of the month. Uh, and we can, of course, try to arrange that for your clients if they wish to do that experience. But on board the Grand Canyon Railway train, there are several different classes of accommodations, such as Pullman, Coach, First Class, observation dome, luxury observation dome, and luxury parlor class. What we're seeing being booked right now is those higher end accommodations. Why? Because again, people have more money to spend and want to be able to have those upgrades while on board the train. My favorite is the luxury dome and luxury parlor class. I've done it myself, highly suggest it because that's where you don't have any children there. It's children under the age of 16 are not allowed in the car. So uh, any of your clients who are adults and do not want to have children, maybe have access to the bar, this is what the accommodations you're going to want. They'll then, of course, arrive into the south rim of Grand Canyon. It's about a two and a half hour journey from Williams up to Grand Canyon National Park. And by the way, they get into the National Park. Their entrance fee is included. So they don't have to pay additional out of pocket. Uh, but when they arrive at the south rim, they will be able to do a nice motor coach tour that takes them around the rim itself. They'll get to be able to visit Hopi Point, um, Yavapai Point, all the of course, the popular points of interest uh, to get some great pictures and video of Grand Canyon. After time exploring uh, the rim itself, you'll then be, of course, transported to one of the hotels that we have uh, available. Either the El Tavar, the Kachina, the Thunderbird, the Maswick, all those properties are located right in the Grand Canyon Village. But my personal favorite is the El Tavar. It is the classic hotel that people love to stay at and want to be able to get those accommodations. We have them, such as those suites, those deluxe rooms, whatever their clients are looking for, we can take care of that for them. After the time explain, uh, sorry, exploring the Grand Canyon, then then be transported back down to Williams via the Grand Canyon Railway train and traveling on board the Southwest Chief, going westbound to Los Angeles overnight on the train. And then they'll arrive into Los Angeles around 8 o'clock in the morning uh, at Los Angeles Union Station. For any of you who have visited LA Union Station, it is one of the last remaining Union Stations that was built back in 1939 uh, by the Santa Fe Railway. And then they'll climb on board the Coast Starlight. Now, this is one of my favorite train journeys with Amtrak, the Coast Starlight. This is what people think of when they want to go up the California coast. This train experience allows them to give them those coastal views that even Highway 1, look at this. Here's Highway 1. Here is the Coast Starlight. Which one's closer to the beach? The train. The train is closer to the beach. And here's another great thing. On board the train, their clients can be able to get the perfect views on the observation car. They can be able to see dolphins playing whales, you know, uh, getting out of the water, even some sea otters. This is a great train experience. And I always suggest this if your clients are upgraded to a private sleeping accommodation on board, make sure they bring some California wine on board. That's what my wife and I did when we took this train a few years ago. We brought in some California wine. We got a little cooler with some cheeses, crackers, meats. We had the whole little wine cheese tasting in our private sleeper. It was like doing a little bit of wine tasting. It was, it was phenomenal. So something to suggest when uh, doing this trip. 
And then before long, they'll arrive into San Francisco around close to 10 o'clock in the evening, and that's when they'll get off the train and stay in uh, this beautiful city here, the city that never sleeps, right? San Francisco. Uh, they'll stay with us there for two nights so they can be able to explore the city and even also do a day trip over to Yosemite National Park, our nation's third national park, uh, and it offers some stunning, great uh, geological features such as Half Dome, El Capitan. Your clients can be able to see the high redwood trees in Mariposa to grow. All that will be shown to them on that full day tour. So again, this is our essential Grand Canyon to Yosemite package. It is six days starting at $1,899. Again, includes all that you see here and more with this great rail vacation itinerary. Now, I want to talk about a little bit briefly what is life like on board an Amtrak train. Again, we're all probably very familiar with what it's like traveling on a cruise or maybe doing an escorted tour, but what is life like on board Amtrak? Well, first and foremost, Amtrak is very generous when it comes to its packing requirements. Each passenger is able to bring on two free carry on bags under 25 pounds per bag, as well as two free checked bags under 50 pounds per bag. What airline can offer that? I thought Southwest was good, but Amtrak, mm, it's, it's, it's up there. Uh, so you can be able to offer your clients, hey, you could pack as much as you want. If you want one suitcase for hairbrushes, another case for, for your uh, makeup, and then the small little bags for your clothes, you can certainly do that. <laughs> and luggage can be checked in 45 minutes prior to departure. Again, what airline can offer that? Most of the times you have to go to the airport a couple hours ahead of time, go through security checks, be patted down, and hopefully one of you are not you know, have any metal plates in your head because then the whole sirens go off. It's not like that. It's not like that. Traveling by train is a leisurely experience. It really is. The first accommodation on board Amtrak is coach class. Now, this is usually what's included in our packages, and that's why we always recommend and, uh, and suggest to upgrade to those private sleeping accommodations, especially if they're traveling on an overnight journey. But for short distances, coach is a great option. Coach, as you can see, is like sitting in first class and a um, on a, a domestic flight, very comfortable, very spacious, that do fold down to a 45-degree angle large picturesque window to enjoy those vistas and views, reading lights, air quality control, nice footrest. But look at this, extra space for your luggage. No longer do you have to try to cram your luggage in those main cabin compartments on an airplane. Again, plenty of space for luggage. But again, I really want to talk and dive deep into the important things to know about private sleeping accommodations are because that's what many people are booking uh, with us with here at Amtrak Vacation. So the first thing to know about is that once your, pri uh, your clients have a private sleeping accommodation, they have a dedicated car attendant that's there to serve them throughout the journey. Think of like almost like a butler, right? Their dedicated car attendant is there to help make sure that your room is kept clean and tidy. They're there to help with turn down service. There if you need additional pillows, blankets, toiletries, coffee, water, uh, the whole nine yards. Even if your meals wish to be brought to you in a private sleeper, they can take care of that for you as well. The other thing you should also be aware of is that your client, uh, client's private sleeper will have their own privacy of their own door that locks from the inside. So as soon as they're in their private sleeper, they're able to remove their mask. I probably should have said that very quickly, folks. Onboard Amtrak right now, they are not requiring any vaccination uh, statuses. It's not required. The only thing that is required is wearing a mask in the train stations and on board the trains themselves. So masks are still required on board. Um, and uh, um, they, they are worn, of course, in coach seats. However, when you are in your private sleeper, you can, of course, um, remove them as soon as you close that door. The other thing I want to mention, of course, with the dining car. Dining car is still only available for the um, sleeper car passengers. The dining car is available for sleeper car passengers, and all of your meals are included, both breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, so again, if your clients are ever wondering, hey, is my meals included? Absolutely, uh, in the dining car. And that's actually one thing I'm really excited about is they brought back the traditional dining versus flexible dining. I don't know if any of you have sold or talked about Amtrak vacations in the past, but they had flexible dining, which... I'm just going to be for forthcoming with you, was not that good. <laughs> so the traditional dining is back. I'm super excited. They have the Amtrak Signature French Toast, Amtrak Signature Steak, and they even revamped their um, – their uh, uh, their dining menu to actually have a three course dinner now. So they have appetizer, uh, entree, and then dessert with a glass of wine or a bottle of beer included with their meal. So a little tip there. The other thing that you'll notice on a lot of the long distance trains, including the ones going out west, is the observation lounge car. That's that 360 degree dome car view experience that offers those panorama views on board the train. 
Now, the first accommodation on board Amtrak is the room at. The first, as you see here, it's the most economical of the sleep in a car accommodations. It's two seats facing one another during the day, and it falls into a bunk bed style configuration for two at night. Very comfortable, again, very spacious. Uh, you'll see that they have a large picturesque window. Uh, again, curtains that can be able to block out the light and sound, air quality control, heating, power outlets, all of those amenities that you're looking for when staying in your private sleeper. And then the restroom facilities and shower facilities are across the hall. It does sleep up to two adults. However, this also is a great option for a solo passenger. And you can fit about one to two small suitcases in your room. And there's also luggage racks across the hall. If your clients want a more uh, more <laughs> larger accommodation, I recommend the bedroom. Now, the bedroom is actually two times larger in size uh, than the roomette, and the uh, bedroom also has its own private ensuite with bathroom and shower included. So again, still a bunk bed style configuration for two at night, but during the day, it is a couchette, very nice and comfortable to lounge in, with also a nice little captain's chair. Uh, does sleep up to two adults, and that's also a great option for a sole passenger. And as you can see here, it does fit up to one to two small suitcases in your room. There's actually a luggage rack and stored in your room there. All right, so now we're going to be talking about rail bookers. We just talked about Amtrak vacations. Now we're going to be talking about rail bookers. So how are rail operators global-wide maintaining a safe environment? Well, first and foremost, they are still requiring facial coverings in the stations and on board the trains for both passengers and staff. They have changed the seating configuration and allocation on board to allow for social distancing. So many of these trains are not being filled up to 100% like the airlines are. They're still at around you know, 60, 70, maybe 80% capacity. They're not up to 100% yet. And that's because, again, they're following those strict guidelines. They have also increased the cleaning and sanitation protocols in the stations and on board the trains uh, also. And these, these um, they actually conti continually to sanitize and, and uh, make sure that the cars are cleaned frequently throughout the day. Every time, usually about an hour to an hour, sorry, an hour to about two hours at a time, usually, again, following those strict protocols. And then we're also going to a more contactless way for ticket control. So instead of having a physical copy ticket that you'd show the conductor, a lot of it is now going in that digital direction that we're moving towards. Um, now, there are still, of course, those rare occasions where train tickets are still going to be required, and that's explained to you by our staff, and that we'll let you know about those details. All right, so now we're going to be heading up to Alaska, the last frontier, or sorry, the, yeah, the last frontier. <laughs> and we're going to talk about Denali National Park and the Arctic Circle with the Alaska Railroad. So this starts in Anchorage, uh, the beautiful city here of Anchorage. And while you're staying with us in Anchorage, we provide you, of course, two nights hotel stay there. And while you're there, we do actually provide some great sightseeing tour options available, either going down to Seward so you can visit Resurrection Bay, do a nice Resur Resurrection Bay cruise. We also offer uh, Prince William Sound Glacier. So if you want to do a, 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 a seaplane experience, we can take you out that way. Or maybe you want to go over and do some fishing or even see grizzly bears up close in person. We do offer some great sightseeing tour activities to enhance your client stay when visiting Anchorage. But after time exploring the city, you'll then travel on board the Alaska uh, Railroad in the Denali Star. Now, the Denali Star is the flagship train for this uh, company. The Denali Star travels from Air Anchorage all the way up to Fairbanks, um, going along the, the longest route of the, uh, of the train. On board the train itself, there's two classes of services. There is adventure class, which is, you can see here, is a single level uh, carriage with two by two seating configuration. Again, very comfortable and spacious. And with the adventure class accommodations, you do also have access to the adventure class dome car, which is that 360 dome car view experience. Now, with the adventure class, passengers do also have access to the Wilderness Cafe car where they can purchase snacks and beverages that they wish to, but they can also bring on their own meals or snacks as well if they wish to do that. Now, one thing I love about the Alaska Railroad staff is they're amazing. They're super sweet and nice. They do a great job of not only making sure that you're comfortable, you know, you have everything you need, but they also help make sure they point out popular points of interest to take, you know, to get your cameras ready or binoculars ready, but they'll even help spot out local wildlife or even share with you a little bit of the history of the route itself. Now, many of our passengers are upgrading to the Gold Star service. This is the more VIP uh, level of accommodations on board. The Gold Star is, think of it almost like Rocky Mountaineer. Any of you know about, about Rocky Mountaineer? This is what it looks like almost in that detail. Uh, you do also get two complimentary alcohol beverages per leg of your journey, more plush seats, nice uh, you know, floor to window ceilings, uh, and also, of course, to you access to the viewing platform deck. By the way, 
the Alaska Railroad loves tourism. That's their that's part of their <laughs> their market is all tourism based. And they spent over four million dollars for each Gold Star car. That's how much they love tourists. They offered this. This is the only car of its kind in the world that offers a viewing platform deck where your clients can be able to get a great opportunity to get some fresh air, to get some great pictures and videos uh, of their journey on board without the glare of the observation dome car. Again, this is the only car of its kind. Not even Rocky Mountaineer has something like this. They have, of course, a little part of it, but not to this level. Very cool. And for the Gold Star uh, passengers, you have also have access to the dining car where you get complimentary, uh, uh, complimentary meals included with your ticket on board. And after time on board the train, you'll arrive into Denali National Park around close to four o'clock in the afternoon, uh, where you get to be able to be transported from uh, the train station over to one of our lodges. Now, one of our most popular properties is the Denali cabins. People want to stay here because they want that rustic feel when staying in this vast wilderness. So we can be able to, of course, provide that for them. We do have a few other hotel options available. So if, again, if the Denali cabins isn't for your clients, please let us know. We can take a look at that for them. And then when they're staying with the Denali cabins with us, we do provide, of course, a Denali Tundra Wilderness Tour. This picks them up from their cabins and take them over into Denali National Park, uh, where they get to be able to help spot local wildlife, such as bald eagles, elk, moose, deer. Uh, all of the wildlife will be shown to you and even learning about the park itself from the local guides on board. After time exploring Denali National Park, you'll then hop right back on board the Alaska Railroad train on the Denali Star heading further northbound up to uh, Fairbanks. You arrive in Fairbanks close to eight o'clock in the evening. And you'd be surprised that in Alaska, the, you know, it's still quite, you know, uh, uh, sunny outside. The, the, the daylight there is much longer uh, than, uh, than most people can uh, realize. And you arrive in a Fairbanks and it's still light outside so you can be able to check out the city um, and then check out to one of your hotels. The next day when you're with us, you'll then do the Arctic Circle Tour. This is a full day tour where you get to be able to check out uh, the Tundra Wilderness. You'll even learn about the uh, Alaska Pipeline. You'll even head over into the Arctic Circle itself, where you'll then get a uh, rewarded a certificate showing that you visited the Arctic Circle and even learn about uh, the Dalton Highway, the scenic highway that was actually featured in the Alaska uh, Road Truckers. So again, this is our Denali National Park and the Arctic Circle with the Alaska Railroad. It is seven days, starting at $1,799. Includes all that you see here and more with this great rail vacation itinerary. All right, so now we're going to be heading down to uh, Europe, <laughs> our favorite continent. I love talking about Europe is an amazing, amazing continent uh, and it has so many great destinations to travel to. And believe it or not, the Europeans are so, um, what was the word I'm looking for? They actually really care about their rail network system. Uh, I feel like some more than any other, a lot of other countries. But the Europeans are very prideful of their rail system. And with us, with rail bookers, as I mentioned before, we can book our rail tickets with our rail vacation packages up to two years in advance. Most of the rail operators uh, in Europe only release their ticket information anywhere between 30 days to advance up to 90 days in advance, depending on the rail operator. And with us, of course, we can connect those rail accommodations if you're traveling from France over to Switzerland and then down to Italy, you're traveling with three different rail operators and at SNCF, you're traveling with Swiss Rail and then even to Transitalia. Most of these travel operators don't talk to one another. That's where we're here to be that uh, <laughs> that <laughs> middle person to help e ease your burden when it comes to planning a rail vacation uh, in Europe. And right now, we are definitely seeing a lot of people book Italy with us. Italy is one of our most popular destinations right next to Switzerland and France uh, for this year. So this is our grand Venice, Florence, and Rome. By the way, anytime you see a grand the grand uh, um, uh, title here next to the package, that usually includes the upgrade to the first class train tickets on board the train. So just want to reiterate that. It includes the first class accommodations. So your clients will start with us with the two nights hotel stay in Venice, the beautiful city of Venezia, uh, where they can be able to check out, uh, you know, St. Marco Square. They can be able to check out uh, the Rialto Bridge. All of that will be shown to them in uh, their trip with us in Venice. And we actually have a many great properties to choose from, such as the Kapinski. We also, of course, offer, um, you know, the Cipriani, some great five-star luxury hotels, even down to the three-star budgeted option. 
And while they're uh, staying in Venice, we do, of course, include the skip line tickets into the St. Marcos Basilica and the Doge's Palace. Your clients are not going to wait out in line for two to three hours in the hot sun in summer, right? They're just not going to want to do that. That's why we include the skip line tickets so they can avoid the lines and be able to go right inside. And we also, of course, offer some other great sightseeing tours while they're there, such as doing a gondola tour. We also offer day trips over to Morano, Barano, and Torcello Island, so they can be able to see the glass and lace making being made in um, its, uh, its original format. But then after the time exploring Venezia, they'll then head over to Santulicia train station and climb on board the Trenitalia's Frecciarossa train. Now, the Frecciarossa is the red arrow in Italian. It's the high-speed bullet train that travels uh, down to Florence, uh, you know, Milan, Rome, all those major destinations. And on board the Frecciarossa train, this is the first class accommodations, as you see here. Very comfortable, very spacious, and also very luxurious with much leather seats. You also will notice they have a quiet car on board the train. This is for passengers who want to be able to take a nice nap, maybe read a book without any noise uh, in the car. Included with their business first class tickets, they also have a complimentary snack and beverage included uh, with their accommodations on board. But if your clients really want the ultimate experience on the Fecciarosa train, I always recommend upgrading to executive class. Executive class is for those people who are willing to spend a little bit more and want that more luxurious VIP experience. The executive class has a total of eight seats in this carriage, eight seats in the carriage alone, and they also do get complimentary uh, meal and as well as a alcohol beverage included with their accommodations. They do also have access to the um, the lounges in those major train stations like in Venice, Florence, Rome. After the time going uh, from Venice down to Florence, they'll arrive into the beautiful city of Firenze, right? Firenze is one of my favorite cities. Firenze is just an incredible city, right? In the uh, Tusc Tuscana region. And while they're staying in Firenze, they'll get to be able to skip the line into the Academia. This is where they'll get to be able to visit the Statue of David, you know, one of the most remarkable artwork pieces uh, in the world, right? Uh, we do, of course, include the skip the line entrance into the Academia as well as the Uffizi Gallery also. But also while they're in Florence, you know, we do offer some other great sightseeing tours, such as day trips to Pisa. We also, of course, offer hot air balloon rides. I mean, that's what a great way to propose or even maybe celebrate a honeymoon or a special case with a hot air balloon going up through the Tuscan region. Absolutely romantic. Uh, but we also offer day trips to Cinque Terre from Florence, many great sightseeing tours. But this is my personal favorite because I've done it myself. This is our Tuscany day trip that goes to Siena, Pisa, and San Gimiano. San Gimiano, folks, is a world-renowned UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's because it was built back in the 12th century. These towers actually were to symbolize if you are part of a robo or noble family. And one of my favorite spots in San Gimiano is Gelato Dondola. This is a great little gelato shop uh, and is world-renowned because even President Barack Obama, uh, you know, uh, prime ministers from all around uh, Europe have actually gone to San Gimiano just to visit Gelato Dondoli and have it's uh, uh, Mr. Dundoli's uh, famous gelato. It's remarkable. Uh, but we also, of course, include with this day trip is lunch in a nice Tuscana um, uh, uh, um, uh, villa with also wine tasting included. Also, you can't go visit Tuscany without doing some wine tasting. After time exploring Firenze, you'll then travel on board the Trinitalia's Fecciarossa train heading further southbound to Roma, uh, where you'll then end your stay with us there for two nights uh, while exploring the Colosseum, the Roman Forum. We also, of course, offer some other great sightseeing tours while visiting Rome, such as the great museums, including the Vatican. The Vatican is the, one of the most popular sightseeing tours that we include within our packages where people can be able to get the skip the line into the Vatican, the Sistine Chapel, and the St. Peter's Basilica. Um, again, this is something that we do offer and I highly suggest it. Little tip though, because people go in the mornings, it's, I don't know why, it's just, a, maybe it's a morning thing, but everyone goes in the morning, suggest the afternoon because it's less crowded. So again, this is our Grand Venice, Florence, and Rome packages. Seven days, look at this price, $999. What a great value for your clients, getting the upgrades, getting the hotels, the sightseeing tours with this seven-day itinerary. 
All right, our last vacation destination, our package is featured today on our virtual train tour. This is the Venice Simplon Orient Express to Venice with the Gloucester Express and the Bernina Express. This again includes not one, not two, but three luxurious and iconic scenic trains. My favorite, I've been on all three, so be prepared. I got a lot of information to share. So you'll, you'll, of course your clients will start with in the beautiful city of London, this package starts with a pretty night hotel stay there. Uh, but if you want more nights, I highly suggest it. Why not? Uh, they can be able to check out uh, Big Ben. They, we also, of course, offer day trips over to Windsor Castle, Stonehenge, uh, as well as also, of course, skip the line tickets into the um, the Tower of London. Um, so many other great sightseeing tours that we do include uh, when they're staying there in London. But after the time, they'll then head over to Victoria's train station, uh, which is when they'll climb on board the legendary British Pullman train. Now, the British Pullman train, these are original carriages from the 1920s and 30s. And actually, and believe it or not, some of the names that were uh, that are named on the uh, carriages themselves were actually designed by the chaps. And there, there's a little bit of a, a little legend, uh, or actually, well, I guess a legend slash story, uh, that they named these uh, carriages from their mistresses. That's just a, that's a rumor. It's not, I don't know if it's true or not, but just a <laughs> food for thought. Um, and on board the British Pullman train, it is, uh, again, a five-star restaurant experience. I really do have to say, um, you know, everything is uh, finished with the finest marquetry that money can buy, glassware, uh, even the the, um, the chefs actually come out with, you know, white glove service. It's just a remarkable experience as they're going through the Kentish countryside and living like royals back in the day, right? Uh, on board, of course, they'll have a, uh, a brunch that's included uh, with caviar. They also get bellini, coffees, teas, petite fours, all of that will be included for them. And then they'll arrive into Falkston, which is the end of the line. And then that's when they'll be transported from Falkston down over to Calais, which is when they'll board the King of Trains, right? The Trains of Kings. Uh, this is the Venice Simplon Orient Express. Now, folks, the Venice Simplon Orient Express has seen uh, I mean, let's be honest, uh, two world wars. It also has gone through the Cold War and it has been and it's actually many celebrities as well as historical icons have traveled on this trains from Marta Hari to even King Leopold II. Uh, many royal members have traveled on this train. It is one of the most remarkable and iconic train experiences that are usually on everyone's mind. Think about it. they just did a, the movie a few years ago, a remake of the movie. It was even better. Uh, <laughs> uh, they featured Donnie Depp, right? Uh, and uh, we got the Venice Simplon Orient Express. This is a five-star luxury hotel on wheels. And everything is original, by the way, from the bygone era in the 1920s uh, and 30s. Little fun fact, when we, my wife and I did this train a, a few years ago, we actually stayed in the same carriage as Agatha Christie did when she got her inspiration of the book Murder on the Orient Express. So I have to always I have to always share that that story because I'm proud to say I was in that carriage. Um, and there are several different classes of accommodations on board. The first is the standard cabin here. It's a nice couchette, nice little armoire. Uh, and then also, of course, you'll see here this uh, marquetry designed vanity. And uh, by the way, I should also mention, these carriages are original, so they do not have their own private ensuite unless you're in the grand suite, which I'll talk about in a second. So just be aware of that. I always have to reiterate, uh, like, oh, where's the bathroom? It's, this is a little bit historical, so remember that. It's like staying in a museum. Uh, <laughs> uh, and, and then they also have, of course, a cabin for those who are looking for more space. Uh, this is called the cabin suite. Uh, this is a great option for those passengers who want a little bit more living room space or maybe two lower berths versus a bunk bed style configuration in the standard cabin. But if your clients want the most ultimate experience on board the Venice Simplon Orient Express, this is the Grand Suites. There are a total of six Grand Suites in its entire fleet, and they actually embody the different destinations that the, uh, the VSOE travels to, such as Paris, Istanbul, Venezia, uh, Venezia uh, Vienna, uh, East, uh, sorry, um, Prague, Budapest, all of those great iconic destinations that the VSOE travels to. And here's another fun fact. In the Grand Suites, your clients will actually be able to have free-flowing caviar, free-flowing champagne, and if they don't want to sit in the restaurant car, they can be able to have their own meals brought to them in the Grand Suite. What, what a better way to say, hey, I am the, you know, the lead of the elite. I get to have this carriage all to myself. I mean, that I think Tyler's already just like, I, I, I already, I'm, 
this is my this is my trip. Yep. <laughs> Uh, and uh, also, of course, too, with all the cabin accommodations, you have a dedicated uh, cabin steward that's there to provide and be at the utmost discretion. I mean, he, they, they usually handpick these cabin stewards from around the world in the highest uh, five-star luxury hotels. They handpick them to join the Venice Simplon Orient Express. And on board the train, there's also three restaurant cars. Don't worry. If your client's not going to do it one, they can also sit in the other one. Uh, three restaurant cars. My favorite, though, a little funny fact, is the Cote du Zor. That features Lalique Glass. Lalique was almost famous as he was in his day, as Tiffany is today. And on board, head chef Christian Bogel is a master chef, just like Papa Picasso was an amazing, you know, uh, a master artist in his day. And... Uh, Maybe he wasn't as famous in his day as he is now, but <laughs> um, they offer some amazing cuisine. I mean, amazing. All of this is cuisine that is picked up, freshly cooked and prepared on board. He only, they only use the freshest ingredients. I mean, the freshest. Um, everything from lobster terminal to Brittany uh, to Brittany Land. I mean, everything is perfect. Um, and you get a five course deal dinner. Five course dinner on the train, as well as four course lunch is provided, and then breakfast is served in your uh, cabin. Everything from the meals, even to a souffle. I mean, these small Galloway kitchens, they cook a souffle. It's incredible. And they're small little Galloway kitchen, and they have to serve over four, uh, over 50 passengers at a time in a short window. It's, it's incredible. Uh, and then, of course, they'll go over to the bar car after their meal. I mean, if they're already full enough, why not have a nice little nightcap? Uh, at the bar car, head barman Walt Tunisi is a funny German guy. I mean, Funny as funny can be. Uh, great guy. And he is the head uh, barman on the train. And he makes the most wonderful cocktail called the Guilty 12. The Guilty 12 is my favorite cocktail on the train. And he's the only one that knows those ingredients. And they feature 12 of those ingredients along the route from Paris to Istanbul. Also on board the train, you'll notice is the residential pianist. He knows every type of musical number it is. And I, I'm, I'm being honest about that. I mean, he knows everything. I asked him to do Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata in C sharp minor. He knows all three movements by heart. It's incredible. Uh, and I'm a classical musician, by the way. I, I couldn't do that. <laughs> and you know, you get, you get the opportunity to dance, socialize with all the passengers on board, and learn why they're taking the train. But after a night on board, you'll then travel, of course, going through the Swiss Alps. They time it perfectly that you're going to be able to travel through the Swiss Alps during the day, going through the Lake District of Lake Como, Lake Maggiore, before you arrive into Venezia. And then you'll stay with us in Venice for a few nights before you climb on board the Trenitalia, heading westbound over to Milan and up to Torano to climb on board the Bernina Express. Now, the Bernina Express is classified as a UNESCO World Heritage Site because it goes through some UNESCO sites, such as the Abila Line, the Bernina Pass, uh, the Lago Nero, Lago uh, Bianca, Lago Poschiavo, a lot of again, a lot of great sites. Uh, but one of my favorite parts of the trip is this beautiful viaduct right here. This is called the Bruzio Spiral Viaduct. This is a true testimony of Swiss engineering. And this train offers panoramic carriages either if you're sitting in standard class here, which is a two by two sitting configuration, or first class, which is a two by one. Major difference is the seating configuration as well as the seating type. One's leather, one's cloth. By the way, just a little tip too, when you're traveling on the Bernina Express, make sure your clients pack Swiss francs. Switzerland, they still use Swiss francs, not euros. Always, sometimes people, some dumb people don't know that. Uh, Swiss francs, make sure you bring Swiss francs on board because if you want to purchase a nice little bottle of wine or a souvenir on board, they do not take debit or credit card payments due to the high elevation that they travel to. So just be aware of that. After two and a half hour journey, you'll then arrive into St. Moritz and the Engadine Alps. Uh, St. Moritz is a ski resort town that was featured twice for the Olympic Games, once in 1928 and the other in 1948. Uh, and also during the summer, it's a spa resort town. So people love to go out there, relax at the spa, some high-end restaurants, high-end shopping, uh, all that could be found uh, here as well. After time exploring St. Moritz, you'll then travel on the iconic and luxurious Glacier Express. This train was built back in the 1930s, and it had originally Pullman-style carriages from third, second, and first class. Now they revamped them in the late 1990s, uh, early 2000s, to be now these panoramic carriages that we see today. Still three classes of services, but the first is standard class, as you see here, two by two seating configuration, and first class, which is a two by one seating configuration. One thing you should, your client should be aware of that meals are not included with the first or standard class. However, they can be purchased on board, and I highly suggest it. Make sure they uh, they pair their dish with a glass of Schweiss 
wine, Schweiss, the Swiss wine. The Swiss are very prideful of their wine, just like the Italians are. But I have to say, the Swiss wine is actually quite good. It's almost a mixture between a Riesling and a Chardonnay. Very good. Uh, and then, of course, uh, the excellence class. Now, the excellence class is the VIP experience on board. 20 seats in the entire carriage, one by one seating configuration, uh, guaranteeing your clients a window seat. They also get a five course meal uh, with wine pairing, as well as they have access to the Glacier Bar, where they can get both non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages alike. Uh, they even get the red carpet treatment with concierge uh, team members there at the Wedi to take care of them throughout the journey. By the way, on board the Glacier Express, you're going to be traveling some great scenic points such as the Rhine Gorge, which is the Grand Canyon of Switzerland. They'll then, of course, go through uh, some 9th century abbeys. The highest point of the trip is over 6,000 feet above sea level, which is the Oberau Pass, before they be greeted by the famous Matterhorn uh, before they arrive into Zermatt. Now, Zermatt is the, uh, you know, the, another ski resort town uh, where your clients will stay there with us for two nights to check out uh, the beautiful village. Uh, they even get to do the Gorgrat Cog Railway Train experience. Any of you who know about Cog Railway Trains? Cog Railway Trains have an actual cog. Think of it like a, like a watch cog, but magnify it by 10, uh, ten I feel like. Uh, and they stick it in the middle of these train cars so they can go up these steep elevations from 30, 40, you know, 50 percent gradients. And along the way on the Gornagrat train, if your clients sit on the right side, they get some great panoramic views of the um, of the Matterhorn, and they can actually roll down the windows so they don't have to get the glare of the windows um, to get some great videos of the Matterhorn. And there's several stops along the way, by the way, so the clients can get off. But the top of the Gornagrat, which is 3,000 meters above sea level, that's where they get the 360 view of the Matterhorn as well as the surrounding glaciers. And at the top there, there's actually a dedicated Mat uh, Matterhorn Museum dedicated to the first pioneers that explored the Matterhorn itself. There's a hotel up top where they have some great gift shops, great dining, um, and even some great hiking trails too. That's where I picked up my wife a uh, little Swiss watch up there. Really, really cool. Uh, so again, this is our Venice Simplon Orient Express to Venice with the Glacier and the Bernina Express. It is 10 days starting at $7,999. So again, a more of a hefty price tag, but again, you get all of these luxurious trains and uh, some great uh, destinations included in this package. All right, so now we're at the end of our virtual train tour. I just have one question for you all. Uh, my question is, before I answer uh, some questions of you guys, is what destinations are your clients considering for their next vacation? Where are they looking to travel to by train? Where can we help them with that? So definitely have that you know, question in the back of your mind. But I just wanted to say on the behalf of myself and all of us here at Railbookers and Amtrak Vacations, thank you for taking the time to hear what I have to share with you all. Hope you learned something new. Maybe some great train experiences might pique your interest that you can share with your clients. But I did want to, of course, give it back to Taya uh, be, so we can take this time to answer any questions uh, that everyone may have. Gotcha. First and foremost, Tyler, you've got me all fired up. And I think everybody else, um, you definitely did not miss your calling. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're, you're very good at your job and your excitement resonates with all of us. Like it's contagious. So you can absolutely tell. I think this Thank is you. absolutely amazing. And I also think it's a mode of transportation that people tend to forget that's out there. You know what I mean? And you covered, you know, North America, if you want to stay close to home and Europe, like I can't, I can't say enough. This was a fabulous presentation. Thank you. No, that thank means you, thank you so much for that. Absolutely. Thank you. No, that means a lot to me. Thank you, you guys. Um, Great job. Um, Glinda, I think you said there's a couple questions that some people have and see if we can get some of those answered for everybody. Yes, Fran that's here with us as a guest. Um, she wanted to know when you were speaking about the Glacier Tour, is there somewhere you can take it other than Chicago to go to Glacier National Park? Absolutely. So again, we can take our, any of our packages, we can customize it. So if, say mm -hmm. if you want to start at a different destination, it doesn't have to start in Chicago. That's just the, the start of the Empire Builder and ending it at the Empire Builder in Seattle. We can also flip it around too. Or if you want to start in the West Coast and end in the West Coast, making a round trip from Seattle or Portland, we can also do that too. So again, okay. there's a lot of ways we can customize that. Awesome. And her second question was on the Alaskan tour, um, do the coach passengers have access to the observation car? Uh, great, great question for um, for uh, or sorry, you're referring to Alaska or, or the U.S. I apologize. Alaska. Oh, Alaska. Yes, great question. Yes. So adventure class passengers do have access to the observation dome car for adventure class. And then the gold star uh, class has their own ops. Either they're basically they're sitting in a in a um, in a uh, 
bi-level dome car view experience. For Amtrak, if they're traveling on Amtrak, the coach class passengers do also have access to the observation car too, as well as the sleeper car passengers. So just okay. be aware of that. That's a great question. Okay. And I think that's all of the questions we have for now. Which yes. is just a testament of how good your presentation was because you really did <laughs> cover all. I, I, I'm not just saying that. You really covered all the bases. Yes. You really Thank did. You, Thank so, you. If anybody doesn't have any more questions, Tyler, do you have anything for us? No, I just want to say if if any of you have any, um, you know, if you guys ever want to take a train trip with us, please feel free to reach out to us directly. We'd be more than happy to help you with that. You guys have my contact details, um, and we have some great discounts also available for both travel advisors and for clients. Uh, so we're ready to get you guys some new bookings coming your way. Hope we can help out with that. <laughs> Sound good. Travel Pros is definitely ready to book some rail trips for you. So thank you once again for joining us, everybody. Just real quick before we get off, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. We really, really appreciate it. Also, if you have do not have a passport, we're just kind of saying this at the end of every show. If you do not have a passport, please, please get them now. Um, the passport offices are extremely backed up and backlogged. So if you do not have one, please take the time and go ahead and apply. Even if you don't think you're going to travel for the next six to eight months, please do so now. But other than that, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.